you know, I'm sitting here and I'm looking out the window today, and where I live here in Washington, D.C. area, it's raining. But I think the weather, the gray skies and the rain really reflect how many people are feeling today all over the world. I'm speaking about the passing of the wonderful, talented actor and comedian, Robin Williams. As many of you know by now, he was found dead yesterday. Uh, they're saying it was an apparent suicide, and uh, I'm very sad about this. Uh, you know, I grew up watching him. Uh, I first saw him in the 1970s when he appeared on Happy Days, an old TV show, some of you might know. He played an alien named Mork. Uh, he was so successful, it ended up spinning off into his own TV series called The Mork and Mindy Show. That's where we first saw him. America was captivated by Robin Williams because he taught us that it's okay to be zany and that being a little zany might just make you smile. I think that'll be his legacy for me is that he made us laugh. He brought families together. You know, back in those days, we used to all gather around the television. You know, we didn't have cable and all of that back in the, the uh, late 70s and early 80s. So. You know, um, everybody in the country tended to watch the same shows. There was a lot of unity in the sense of, you know, national following with TV. And Robin Williams was really big, 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 big time. A lot of you will remember him through a lot of his movie roles. And he certainly played in so many films. Uh, he's made us laugh. He's made us cry. He's made us think. You know, he plays um, a wonderful talent because he was able to, to do comedy, but he could also do very deep and profound roles. One of the most mystical and profound roles that, that I remember uh, is a film, and I haven't seen it really talked about in the reviews of his life, was called What Dreams May Come. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I would recommend you see that. That's a, a wonderful video, a movie. It's about, uh, in the movie, Robin Williams plays a man who dies in a car accident. He's an advertising executive, I believe, and he dies in a car accident, and um, he goes to heaven. And it's about what he experiences in the spiritual world. It's beautiful movies, very touching. It's a drama, uh, a little bit of comedy in there. Um, but he shows in that movie his wonderful, dramatic, and deeply uh, profound side. And that's the thing I think I'll remember about him, is that he really could run the gamut from great, crazy zaniness to deep, profound spiritual awareness. You know, his soul was an old soul. You know, when you come down to this earth and you take on a big chart, like he did, and he took on a big chart, you know, it shows the power of the spirit. And we mustn't sit in judgment. Some, some people are already condemning him on the internet. It says, oh, he went to hell, he committed suicide. I don't see it that way. I took an exit point. You and I may not like it, we may not understand it, but in the bigger scheme of things, he, you know, the fact is he just wanted to go home. I think when you're an old soul, like he was, part of you has a longing, a longing for that other world, and, and I think that other world is what was calling to him. He knew where he was going. Um, and it's sad. I'm sad that he, he went that way. I'm not going to lie. And I don't understand it, really. Um, I don't understand these tragedies. I understand it from a metaphysical place, but as a human, I still struggle with it. And so I say that to all of you, to those of you who are struggling with this and you don't know what to make of it. Um, it's okay to be confused. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry. I'm a little of all of those today. But in our hearts, let's remember him. And let's send prayers for healing for him on his journey. He struggled, I, from what I heard, with addictions and depression. Sometimes these sort of behaviors are actually signs of souls that are so profound, it's like they cannot grasp this material world. So they try to, try to balance it out a little bit because they're so far ahead of us, you know. Uh, and they use the drugs and as a way to balance their moods. And the depression is because they see such a big picture. Some of them, they're, 
their picture of their world is so much bigger and they, and they struggle with wondering why people can't get it. I think he was a great and profound person and I'm going to terribly miss him on this earth. Of course, I bet you already he's in the spirit world already entertaining people because that's how he was. He liked to make people laugh. So today I, I just come to you to let you know I'm with you guys. Those of you who are really struggling with this, let's unite in prayer. That's what we do at Spirit Channel. Let's remember Robin Williams for the wonderful, blessed soul that he was. So today we send light and healing to him. And I send light and healing to his family and those loved ones and friends of his who are suffering, all his fans. So at Spirit Channel, let's unite and let's bring some light and healing to this. Guys, I'm with you today, and uh, I send you my blessings. Listen, keep it here. we got more videos coming. God bless.